frolicking friends, and welcome back to my channel for another episode of the Poison Garden Legacy. Wisteria is back from her trip. She finally friended the Hermit of Gra Granite Falls, pushing her into the, I think it's, we're at uh, part three. Yeah, part three of her aspiration, because we're working on the outdoor enthusiast aspiration. Um, but we're having a lot of trouble with the plants in Granite Falls producing, even though it's summer. So I would think that they should be growing by now. But anyway, I think I'm going to switch her back to her other aspiration we're working on, which is the country caretaker aspiration. Um, so here we need to craft animal treats five times and harvest one perfect quality oversized crop. So that's the big one we'll be focusing on. Um, this this episode the other thing is I was hearing from you guys that um, the chicks are probably broken since they have not aged up so I think we're gonna go ahead and I don't know what I want to trade these for <laughs> I've never done this let's see trade for ingredients maybe I don't know what this will look like, but let's go try to get rid of those chicks and we'll buy some full-fledged hens, especially now that we're not so broke. Yeah, let's trade for some ingredients. I don't know what that looks like, but we'll try. <laughs> Sorry, little chickadees. Is that happening? Are we doing that? We'll try just trading for simoleons, I guess. All right, so let's go ahead and purchase some chickens. Um, I mostly think I want hens. I don't know that I really want roosters. Um, let's buy one of each color maybe. And then actually maybe I will do, let's do a black rooster. Um, there's our, there's our other hens. So we'll have to give them some nice little names. But we should definitely scatter some feed because I think our new little hens are going to be quite hungry. And there's our rooster. Hopefully it's not an evil rooster. Alright, so let's name some chicks. So I'm thinking for the rooster, I'm going to name him Cyanide. And this name was suggested by Rose Supposes Sim. She gave me lots of good name suggestions. Um, let's see, our brown hen, I'm going to name Salsa. Interesting. How about hen lock, like hemlock, but hen, like chicken. Um, and that was suggested by Queen Sis. Well, I need to come up with another name for the white one. Let's name it... <laughs> Why not? Henrietta for now. And then whenever my black hen comes out, I have a good name for it. And by I have a good name, I am stealing your guys' good names. Um, I think I want to work on making some... What are they called? <laughs> animal treats? Let's see, friendly animal treat. Let's try making four. She's supposed to do it five times, so I'm curious to see whether this counts as four or one. Nope, that just counted as one. Darn. Well, let's go ahead and make more animal treats. All the animal treats. And there we go. So now we just need our perfect quality oversized crop. So the other thing I need to do is I've been playing on a long lifestyle, probably a little too long. I was playing on short, so I was trying to offset it by playing on long, but I think we are, uh, where would that be? Maybe gameplay? Yeah, we're ready to go back to normal. So that puts her at 10 days till she ages up. That's not bad. We can work with that. Um, I'm hoping to here soon have things progress a little bit more romantically with her hermit friend now that they're friends um, because spoiler alerts that is going to be her future spouse or at least like not spouse because they can't get married but future DNA donor I guess you could say um, so anyway yeah I want her to have a uh, <laughs> baby here soon carry on her poison 
poisonous ways. I think, oh my gosh, there's like food sitting up on top of the barn doors. Isn't that something? Look how cute she looks sleeping in her little bed. I don't know how we're going to fit a baby into this house, but I guess we'll have to figure that out. I guess we could always do a bunk bed or something up here. Or stick a bed down downstairs somewhere. And our oversized crop here, our pumpkin, is looking uh, good. Looking like it's growing. Let's talk to it a little bit. And water and maybe even fertilize with a vitality fertilizer because we need to grow I think three perfect no one perfect quality oversized crop and I don't know what quality it is right now but we can hope oh she has a betrayal because she sold her chicks I'm sorry but they were too you know they just weren't growing so we got some rainbow llama wool. Cool. I'm having Miss Wisteria work on some cross stitching, um, the llama corn design. Since she did get the rainbow wool, she had everything she needed to make that. But figured she could use some cute decorative touches in her little renovated barn in here. Definitely not her usual sort of hobby, but it's cute. I went ahead and sent Wisteria to town just to do a little bit of shopping and selling. We have quite a bit of llama wool. Let me sell a bit of that. And we have quite a bit of wolf spain. And uh, what sort of goodies can we buy? Animal party treat. I went ahead and had Wisteria pick up some poison fire leaves for her concoctions and then some vitality fertilizer in hopes of getting that giant crop. And we'll also see if there's anything we can sell from in here. We can sell quite a bit of parsley, but I think that's roughly it. I also want to see about trying to get a bookcase. I don't think that we can craft one can do a wall shelf so I guess maybe I can try to buy like one of those books and put that on there to make it kind of seem like she crafted it yeah like this would be perfect can I put that up there no but I do feel like it would be cute to stick in the corner here I don't know if she can get to it but that would be so cute like little cookbook and let's buy that herbalism skill sweet it does look like she can get to her cute little bookshelf so let's have her work on that herbalism skill Ooh, look who's calling is a hot dog a sandwich ah <laughs> uh, kind of but no uh you and i are on the same page the whole idea is crazy crazy kudos awesome <laughs> Glad we're all on the same page, Laurel. And we just became good friends. Oh, that's so cute that Laurel called us. Definitely makes me want to go visit her. Do we do it? I kind of want to wait till the morning and see, see if our pumpkin finishes growing because we might be able to finish this part of the aspiration. There's our stinking black hen. Let's name you, girl. Your name is not May, although that is cute. Your name is arson chick like arsenic but arson chick thanks so much rose supposes sims for that lovely name suggestion i love my puns <laughs> poor henrietta <laughs> oh. still have her working on her herbalism she uh, got to level five um, and so we can actually brew a couple of different uh, remedies, which is awesome. But I'm going to wait, hopefully, until um, we can get this and, and before I switch back. Oh no! Arson chick! Don't leave! I only just saw you! I'll talk to you! Don't leave! Check out the size of our pumpkin! We're doing so good. I really hope this is a perfect quality. Let's try giving little arson chick a friendly treat so that if she feels more loved. There you go. I feel like we need to give all of our chickens some treats because 
They don't necessarily uh, know our girl very well. Oh, Henlock did not appreciate that. She got pecked at. Oh, she all scared. Oh no, she's just talking to the rooster over the fence. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. All right, let's collect the eggs and clean our coop. Seven eggs, nice. All right, Wisteria is working on finishing up that llama corn. Careful though, girl. All right. It's done. So we can go ahead and create a wall mounted copy, I guess. And then we can hang it downstairs. Cute. Oh, I love it. That's very cute. I swear, Bella Llama gets dirty every single day. These animals take so much work to keep happy. Working on uh, getting more gifts from our little birdie friends because I'm hoping we can get some, I don't know, cool stuff. Oh, Laurel's here. She came to visit us. Like, that's kind of a no no. Like, is she, no one's supposed to visit us. But I have to say, I'm a little heartwarmed that Laurel would come talk to us. So, let's. Let's see what she's about. Can I not just like talk to her? Like I don't really want to have to invite her in, but I guess it's only fair. We've seen where she lives and we're both her kind of hermits. Oh, thanks. Thanks girl. What, what's up? We, she gave us some starter fruits. That's cute. And it looks like she's going to go fertilize our plants. So. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Wow, this uh, wolf spain flower is really gonna get all of that. <laughs> is that like some sort of sign, Laurel? Like you really want to give it to our wolf spain, as in like our little Wisteria wolf spain? <laughs> She's still going at it. <laughs> Take a chill pill, Laurel. I think I think that plant's good with that. Why don't you go? share the love spread it somewhere else i have all these other plants that would love some fertilizer oh we can learn an herbalism recipe oh she's dazed that's interesting maybe she's been <laughs> smelling too many chemicals after all of that no wonder she's like giving the fertilizer over and over again oh we can become best friends that's so cute we're doing it we're doing it we learned the fungal infusion fertilizer from the hermit. I feel like Wisteria would like want to kind of start opening up to her a little bit, but you know, she's such a closed off person, has her walls up really high. So I don't think today is the day that she would do that, but I definitely feel like, um, you know, Laurel's kind of chipping away at her, her stone wall a little bit. Although she is a little freaked out that she, she like, found where she lived she thought she was pretty secretive and safe out here in the boonies um so that'll be interesting oh apparently she's leaving it looks like our lettuce crops are ready to harvest but not our pumpkin maybe because we are <gasps> it counted that was perfect we don't even need our pumpkin but i'm sure our pumpkin will be perfect too all right what's up next we need to receive three gifts from rabbits or birds. Win a competition in Henford on Bagley's Finchwick Fair. Interesting, because she's not really the type of person to... And we already reached a maximum relationship with a cow, chicken, or a llama. I think that's probably with Bella Llama. She's not really one to enter the fair, but we definitely want to do that to achieve her aspiration. Well, what's our upcoming uh, schedule for Finchwick Fair? Oh, perfect. This Saturday is the oversized crop fair. Our pumpkin, I think, should be ready for that. So that, I think, is a good plan. So I've been having Wisteria do some fishing here. But actually, I should have her open up the seed packet that Laurel gave us and see if there's anything good in there. What did we get? It looks like nothing necessarily new-new. Ooh, 
oversized mushroom seeds. Is that a thing? Let's try it. That sounds so cute. All right, I think our pumpkin got even bigger overnight, which is insane. We better win this stinking oversized crop uh, thing at the, the fair. I'm actually really excited to, to play the fair because I haven't done that yet because, you know, Wisteria is such a little loner girl, so I'm glad our aspiration is pushing us to do it at least once. The fair, that is. I don't know if I said that. We'll definitely go get our three gifts today, and then all we have is the fair, which we'll probably save for next episode. Are we friends with this wild rabbit? We aren't, but we should definitely try to become friends. Oh, Thumper! We have to do Thumper. That's so cute. Let's give the rabbit some fish. Hopefully it likes fish. Where are you going, girl? Why are you obsessed with probably trying to grab water? Here you go. What do you think, Thumper? Oh, you don't like fish. Ooh, that's awkward, but I want your gift anyway. And then oh, we're gonna come give a gift. We'll do a flower. Let's do a simple daisy. Okay, we've got a catfish. That's so nice. Thanks, Thumper. Grab a gift from our little bird friends here, and then one more set of birds, and then we'll have that part of the aspiration fulfilled. Gold llama wool. Ooh, fancy. All right, and then just one more birdie. I know it's cheating to teleport her here, but it just takes so long for her to go up and down the hill. Don't you do it. Stop! Don't go grab your glass of water or whatever tomfoolery you're doing. Reset. <laughs> whatever you're doing with that incessant need to go into the kitchen in between every interaction needs to stop. Let's have you take their gift. Rabbit cross stitch. Cool. And we will give them a gift as well. Let's get them some fish and gossip about chickens. All right, you guys, and I think with that, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this series. And if you are, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to like and comment. I guess thumbs up and liking are the same, but I love your comments. So definitely leave one of those as well. Until next time, you guys, happy simming.